Hey guys, Garth Harris here with Cake, and today's video is the Affiliate Portal 101. So we're gonna walk through the very basics of the Affiliate Portal, whether you're an affiliate logging in for the first time and you just wanna know how to get around, or you're an affiliate manager working with one of our clients and you just wanna know what your affiliates see, this video is gonna be good for you. So we're gonna navigate through the three main tabs of the Affiliate Portal, which is the dashboard, the offers grid, and your reports. All right, let's get started. So in the dashboard, the dashboard comprises of a few widgets that are actually fully customizable by your network. So when you log into a Cake Affiliate Portal, you may not see the same layout every single time, but what you see here is gonna be our basics, our standard default affiliate portal. You have the campaign summary widget, which is gonna give you a quick at a glance view of your campaigns, similar with your performance, the creative summary, and then finally, if you've uh, been an affiliate for a network for a while, you'll start to see your bills populate there as well. So that's all fairly standard. Now, if you wanna get access to your account manager, you'll find that on the bottom left here with their contact details, etc. okay? Now, you may be a more advanced affiliate looking to use some of our APIs. Our APIs are gonna be up here on the top right, and that'll actually populate a separate web page with your API key already populated and ready to go. It's actually fairly easy to navigate. All right, off to the offers grid. The offers grid is where you can actually find new offers, offers that are applied to run, offers that are ready to go, or offers that you've already been given access to. So the first thing to the offers grid is just understanding the different statuses that we supply for the different offers. So we have in this dropdown here, we have active offers, which are offers that you can drive traffic to, they're ready to go, you've been set up, so you can get a tracking link, you can place pixels, you can test the offer, get creatives, etc. Those are active offers. Now public offers are gonna be offers that you can just grab immediately. They're not active quite yet, but if you see a public offer, you can just get instant access to it by clicking on the name of the offer, and then you can it'll become active as soon as you click on the public offer. Apply to run is an offer that your network wants you to submit an application to, and then once they approve it, then you'll have access to get tracking links. But if you get declined on that offer, you'll get an email notification with such. And then pending are all gonna be your applied run offers that are set to that pending status. So you can easily see which offers have been, uh, that you've applied for that are now set to pending. Okay, why don't we go look for an active offer that we already have access to, and I'll show you how uh, you can get tracking links and a few other elements about that offer. So I'm gonna go ahead and select active, and I'm gonna search for one of the offers that I already know I have access to. So here's a CPC, CPA offer. I'm gonna go ahead and hover over this eyeball here because what this is gonna show you is a little um, preview of the offer itself, and I'll even show you the flags of the allowed geos. This offer happens to have some allowed geos on it. Not every offer is gonna have that, but if you see the, the flags here, we have Canada, UK, India, and US, and if I click open the offer, I'll see the same. So I see I'll have allowed countries over here. I have a quick description of the offer, some restrictions, and I even see how many creatives I have. So let's just kind of go through the tabs here for the things that are gonna be most relevant to you. So in the creative section, here is gonna be a unique tracking link per creative. So you can either get the link directly from here, and this is actually a link generator. So this is where you can plug in sub IDs or anything else like that. So I can say, here's my sub affiliate, and I have other sub IDs as well. And it'll actually build the tracking link for you right here. So that's probably the best way of grabbing just one individual tracking link. Otherwise, you can actually download or email a creative pack. So if you click download, it'll just download the creative pack directly to your computer, and that'll include the images and the tracking links themselves, or you can email it to yourself so you can get that at a later time. The email tab will have instructions if it's an email type offer or you're an emailer. So you can actually see the unsubscribe list or any kind of subject lines, etc. This particular offer doesn't have that. And then finally, we have the testing tab, which is where you can actually place your tracking pixels. So Cake will support a postback URL or an iframe or a JavaScript. And this particular offer actually has two events on it that are gonna track. 
Not every offer has multiple events, but this offer has two events. So I can see the initial event, and then I can see event number two. And so I can actually edit my pixel directly from here, place my post back URL or an iframe pixel, hit save, and that's one way that you can actually place your pixel yourself directly within the affiliate portal. Okay, so that is a quick run through of the offer. And then finally, we have our reports. Now the reports are gonna be pretty straightforward. Um, it's gonna give you a bunch of details around your clicks, your conversion rates, etc. cetera. Um, your reports are gonna be exportable from the affiliate portal as well. And the tabs that show up here are gonna uh, primarily depend on what the uh, network has actually set up for your environment. But most of these are, reports are gonna be standard. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your network. If you're a client, please feel free to reach out to your account manager or technical support rep, and we'd be more than happy to answer any more questions you have. Thank you.